Hi, I'm Dylan Walker. And I'm Maya Somerville. And, and this, this is season 14, episode 2 of Colonial, Colonial Corner. Maya. What's up, Dylan? For years and years, we've been eating turkeys for the holidays, but how come? We never asked the turkeys how they felt. Well, you know, Dylan, Jackson, Kevin, and Alex made a segment about that. Let's go check it out. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jackson. This is... I'm Alex Koshak. And he is the turkey man, as you can see. He went around the school asking students and staff about this Thanksgiving and things they did and tradition they did. And the key word the students couldn't say and staff couldn't say is turkey. Like, if you're turkey, you can see in the video. But I hope you like it. Thank you very much. All right, so uh, first question, uh, what are you grateful for Thanksgiving? My family. Uh, very nice, very nice. Um, what's your favorite food for Thanksgiving? Talky. Nice, nice. All right, well, thank you, Lauren. All right, it was amazing having you. Thank you. Me too. No, what are you grateful for for Thanksgiving? Uh, my family. Nice, nice. Oh, what's your favorite food for Thanksgiving? Uh, probably say like stuffing, mashed potatoes. <laughs> nice, nice. Do you eat turkey for Thanksgiving? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Why you gotta do that, man? Why can't you eat something else? Sorry. I mean, you're a pretty big guy. I mean, shouldn't you be eating chicken? More protein, right? I mean, turkey, chicken. I just gotta eat as much protein as I can get. Ah, that's true. That's true. Um, all right. Well, uh, why don't you eat something else? You know, like, uh, nah. nah. All right. All right. Well, Watch back. what? Watch your back. Watch my back. Yeah. Really? Watch your back. Oh, okay. All right. We'll see. We'll see. All right. We'll see. Something traditional like family that's for Thanksgiving. Uh, tamales. You make them? Like you make the you make them? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Um. What are you, uh, What else do you eat for Thanksgiving? Like anything else? Like uh, we eat pumpkin pie for des for dessert and like some other stuff. Well, what's that other stuff? Uh, we put gravy in it. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. We put gravy. We put. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? What is it? What, what, what else do you eat? What do you put? What, what do you put the gravy on? On the mashed potatoes. You put them on the mashed potatoes. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Well, but like, so like the the tamales, they're like the main thing, right? That's the main thing you guys are eating for Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's the main thing. All right, all right. But then like, you don't have anything else. Like, you don't have you don't have turkey. You don't have turkey. No, 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 no. We don't. You don't. You only turkey. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. Uh, would you rather keep a turkey as a pet or cook it for Thanksgiving? Um, I'll keep it as a pet. All right, all right. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Uh, what what's your favorite food for Thanksgiving? Um, apple. Ah, nice. Just have a couple of questions for Mr. Turkey. Mr. Right. Turkey, yeah. how does Mr. Turkey, how does it feel when you get close to Thanksgiving, being that you are a turkey? Man, I gotta wash my back. You know, like last kid I interviewed, he he told me to wash my back. So like, I gotta I gotta be careful. You know, I'm always on guard. Like I can't let my guard down. Now, do you think that uh, you could get a reprieve and maybe they won't uh, put you on someone's table? I mean. I'm hoping nobody comes for me. Um, I would love for nobody to come to me. I don't want to see turkeys being harmed, but it is what it is, man. I gotta, I just gotta do my best, you know? All right, well, Mr. Turkey, I wish you luck. And uh, I hope you don't get eaten by the big bad wolf. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Speaking of turkey, Dylan, what would you say your favorite thing to eat around the holidays is? I don't know. Maybe mac and cheese. You think other kids in the school would agree? I'm not sure, but I think Ben and Alex can help us find out. Hello, NHS. I am Ben Sporn. And I'm Alex Davis. Holidays are about being with family, and most holidays are associated with food. Today we're going to see what people think about our best holiday foods through our own food holiday madness bracket. Matchups are based off of simulators of the food like turkey versus ham, eggnog versus hot chocolate, mashed potatoes versus sweet potatoes, etc. The bracket is filled with 16 teams and there are four rounds to see what is the best food. There were some close battles this round. Let's look at the results. Turkey beat ham 7 to nothing. Mashed potatoes beat, it, beat sweet potatoes 5 to 2. Gravy pulled an upset against cranberry sauce. Hot chocolate, unsurprisingly, beat eggnog six to one. Pumpkin pie with an upset against apple pie. Cornbread lost in a close battle to stuffing. 
Mac and cheese, our number one pick, beat uh, roast beef in a blowout win. And in a close battle, Roasted Potatoes pulls off the upset against Green Bee Casserole, 4-3. to three. Here are the results of our Elite Eight. Turkey vs. Mashed Potatoes is probably the closest battle of the tournament, with a lot of split decisions and Turkey coming on out on top 4-3. to three. Hot Chocolate wins a not-so-close game over Gravy with a score of 6-1. to one. I guess people have some big sweet tooths. In a close battle between pumpkin pie and stuffing, stuffing comes out on top. Those sweet tooths were not relevant in this game. In our last battle of the round, Mac and Cheese wins a, without a struggle 7-0 against Roasted Potatoes. In our final four, we have some great contestants. Let's see who won. In a blow against hot chocolate, turkey wins 6-1. to one. That turkey better not be dry. Stuffing versus mac and cheese was a great battle, with mac and cheese winning 5-2. to two. Oh, I love some homemade mac and cheese. There were some great battles this tournament, with some big upsets and blowouts. Here is our, the results for our final round. Turkey versus mac and cheese was our final round. We asked twice as many people for this round to truly see which is the better food. For the winner of this bracket, it is turkey. Psych! Mac and cheese wins it with a score of 8 to 6. Hello, I'm Noah Van Zyl. I'm your editor. I'm Noel Gaynor. I'm your director. And we wish you a happy holidays. Thank you for watching. All I want for Christmas... Oh. Hey Maya. Dylan, what are you doing? <laughs> Just saying Christmas songs. But why here? It's one of my holiday traditions. All right then, well TJ and Michael actually made a segment about the holiday traditions here at the high school. So as you guys know, Christmas trees and other holiday decorations are being put up in stores. So the holidays are right around the corner here at Morristown High School. So TJ, what are you most excited for for the holidays? Well, I'm most excited for going Christmas tree shopping with my family and friends. What about you, Michael? I personally like to bake Christmas cookies. Let's go find out what other holiday traditions people at MHS do. What's up, guys? I'm here with everyone's favorite security guard, Jerry. Jerry, how you doing? I'm doing okay today. I'm all Morristown. Jerry, what are you most excited for for the holidays? Thanksgiving. What's your favorite holiday tradition you celebrate? Thanksgiving, family gets together, uh, people travel, they see each other. It's just a great day um, to get together at the table and uh, just be with your family and friends and in all Marstown. And do you have anything special planned for the holidays coming up? I'll be going to my brother's house and uh, he has everything all planned out for us. And I'm going to be bringing him a uh, pumpkin pie, favorite pie. And I uh, just want to say to Marstown High and everybody, have a safe, safe Thanksgiving. I'll see you next week on Monday, and be all Marstown at all times, because I am. Love to hear it. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. What gets you most excited about Christmas? Probably like the food, the presents. Now, do you have any hot takes about Christmas? That Santa's not real. All right. I personally disagree, but let's hear what you guys think. I'm here with Mr. Aragon. Mr. Aragon, how you doing? Good, thank you. Now, what is your favorite holiday tradition? Uh, definitely going over to my brother's house, um, and we order a ton of food and just sit on the couch, watch TV, and eat. That's awesome. Now, what gets you most excited about the holidays? Uh, I would say the variety of food, and just um, because our family kind of lives far away, everybody getting together in one place. Um, we got family in Boston, Virginia, so everybody kind of you know just meets up in one different one lo one same location and uh, just you know get together. It's awesome. Do you have anything special planned? Uh, just, you know, spend time with the family. You don't get to see them too much, so definitely spending, spending that holiday time together. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. What's up, guys? I'm here with wide receiver Josiah Brown. Josiah, how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. I'm good. Now, what's your favorite holiday tradition? Uh, I got to say anything about Christmas. Absolutely. What gets you most excited about the holidays? Uh, I don't know. Maybe the snow. Seeing my friends and family. Do you have anything special planned? Uh, Hope to get some good gifts. There you go. Thank you and best of luck next season. Thank you, thank you. Happy holidays, fellas. See you in 2024. Dylan, what happened to your Santa hat? It was the Grinch. He came up behind me and stole it. Like how he stole Colonial no Christmas? Let's call John! Yes, 
we gotta film that holiday segment. Yeah, we need like three cameras. What happened? Where are the cameras go? I don't know. We gotta go tell Santa. You're right. Santa, all the equipment is missing. We need that equipment to film the holiday festival. So listen, I'm gonna go fix the sleigh. You need to get that gear back before I get back. I'm counting on you elves to save Colonial Christmas. Yes, sir. I mean, who would even do that? I don't, I don't know. Who would steal the cameras? The Christmas spirit. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Owen. We'll get those cameras. I don't know. It seems like we got our work cut out for us. Remember what Santa always tells us. Never back down, never what? Never give up. You know what? I think there's a security camera in there. The elf! Let's check the footage. Is that who I think it is? It's the Grinch. We need to find that equipment before Santa gets back. I have an idea. Let's make a trap. But why would he come back? He's already taken everything. He didn't take everything. What should we do now? We wait. Stop right there! You're the one stealing all the equipment. Just wait till Santa hears about this. What are we doing? We found the guy stealing all of our equipment. Why did you steal all of our equipment? You never heard my shows. Because all your shows were about Christmas. Bro, you filmed the Christmas segment in May. Why don't you help us with the Christmas festival since you love Christmas so much? Why don't I help you? Because it would mean your show would finally air. Do you want to help us or not? Come on, Grinch. Let's go. Thank you for watching this episode of Colonial Corner. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a happy, happy holidays. holidays.